You don't have to. Uh, I mean, it's a judgment call. It's not doing any harm. It's almost not noticeable. Uh, anyhow, once it's uh, once the adhesion is stabilized with heat and pressure, it's very straightforward to either scrape or simply pull towards you. In this case, it's quicker and easier to just scrape. Gives a nice feathered edge. You don't want to be too aggressive, of course, because then you could compromise the surface of the printed paper. And you're done with that sheet. You have just you have just reinforced a sheet. Now we make sure we're folding it the right way. I'm pretty sure that's how it goes. Line up the fore edge and the top margin. Let the bottom look after itself. And refold. So, and you could just repress it, and there you go. Now this is now ready to go over the other uh, sheets, the untouched sheets of the first signature. But before we do that, this definitely needs reinforcement, obviously. Uh, we'll do that with light tissue again. After that's done, we will guard it uh, with a um, heavy piece of, uh, or a heavier tissue. I call it tissue. It's actually paper. Again, acid-free, of course, uh, long fiber, very strong stuff. Uh, made in the East, where they do it better than we do. At any rate, uh, half of the strip will be attached to here, and the other half will go around so that everything will open flat and be as stable as one can reasonably make it. One drawback to using resist paper underneath is it does not allow the escape of moisture, in this case, steam or vapor, I should say. It's not really steam. So, periodically remove the item and just give a quick brush to the surface of the resist and that gets rid of all excess moisture under there. And we are about done. It's that quick and easy. It takes practice, takes time. To get uh, quick, at, uh, to get fast doing it, but I don't think you'll regret it using this technique of a hot iron surface. I use a standard issue iron, household iron. They do sell tiny little heated wands with uh, metal pads at the. Uh, at the ends that uh, you can use and do the same sort of thing. Uh, it takes a lot longer and since time is of the essence in this process, uh, I like the larger surface of an iron. Uh, you apply the pressure, you apply the heat to a greater area as opposed to doing it a little at a time. By the time you rub everything down assuming there's no mishaps and doesn't stick or whatever. By the time you finish even a small uh, length like so, uh, this uh, adhesive can easily be dried out by then and f uh, further distort the, uh, the paper fiber. So I like the I like being able to do everything in one swell poop on a book uh, this small, larger books of course, you have to be even quicker and less casual about it. Now, I've noticed we have a little dog ear here. I'll try to straighten that out. With any sort of marginal problem like so, again, think of 
the paper as cloth, you have a wrinkle, just press it out. It's that simple. Done like dinner. Like so. Now, single leaf. I, I assume you can see through it. Uh, single leaf. Obviously, one shouldn't even think about sewing this directly to the book. One could, theoretically, but the substance, it's, it's very insubstantial. Um, this uh, light gauzy uh, repair tissue. Uh, the much smarter way is to guard this leaf. It could be a single page. It does, it's um, inconsequential that it's actually a, a folded page. Treat it as a single page, guard it to the adjoining pages, and uh, then you can sew only through signatures which have substance.